All right, so today we're gonna make a tool and it's gonna serve two purposes. One, it's gonna go in the tool post. So basically I gotta turn this bar down to fit inside the boring bar holder and it's gonna accept collets in the end and be able to rotate. So I can use either one of the two size boring bars I have. Then also I'm gonna build another base that's not the boring bar one that stands taller so I can put it in my uh, surface grinder and I can use the collets to hold parts and I can rotate it and grind round parts in the surface grinder so it'll use a couple different work for a couple different things so first we need to get the part here chucked in take this one out and get it indicated then I'll go ahead and start making some cuts. Alright, so I've already made my first cut here. Take the outside material off and make it round. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut back and put my relief cut. So when you cut threads, you got to put a relief cut. So I'll go ahead and turn this down to the 40 mil that I need it to be. Put my relief cut in. And then I'll... Uh, bring the camera around and we'll start cutting threads all right so I've got everything turned I've got my relief cut which is a lot bigger than what it needs to be but it's all gonna get turned down to about this size anyways so it doesn't really matter but I've got this to the diameter what the threads need to be it's got a chamfer on the front chamfer on the back so it comes across for cutting threads real nice I'm gonna get the thread cutting attachment set up I'll show you guys how to get that set up and we'll go from there all right, so I've got our 60 degree thread cutting tool in it. And this is what you want to use is one of these here to square it up. So you want your threads cutting perfectly square. You got to set your compound up to 30 degrees. And that is actually how you cut it is off the compound. That's where all your adjustments come from. right there oh, and we are there so we're squared up to the part so now I've got to make some adjustments here and we'll be ready. So the first adjustment you got to do is make sure that your transmission down here is set up right in the right pattern. For this one to cut metric threads, which is what this is, I had to change the gear set in the inside, which is already done. It's all set up for the right one, except I got to move it to the lead screw instead of the uh, power, power slide for the finish cut so now it's set up for the lead screw when I engage the half nuts and cut my first thread from then on I cannot unengage the half nuts for metric threads on this machine I can't use the timing wheel on standard threads there's a timing dial right here that you can use for metric threads on this machine you can't do that but luckily it's got a break so I'll be able to stop it you'll back it out run it in reverse so on and so forth so let me get some more stuff set up and we'll be ready. All right, so what you wanna do here, I've got it set where I want it to be. So now I need to zero this dial here out and zero my compound. So I'll zero those out and then we'll make our first pass. So this one's zeroed, this one's zeroed, and we're set at 30 degrees right here. There's a little indication right there, but you wanna make sure that this is set on 30 degrees because the only thing that this will be used for is to move the tool away to then back it up and set it back to zero and then this is how we'll feed more in so let's get on to it i am going to run coolant on this as well okay Get that set up. 
Now, I do want to go ahead and run it about three thousandths for the first go. Engage the half nut. And you want to take it a ways back, so by the time it gets to it, it takes out any uh, end play that it has. Or backlash, I should say. It takes all the backlash out of it by the time it gets there. Now we're there. So now what you want to do is back it up a little bit. Run it in reverse. Stop it, and then you want to zero this dial back out to zero, and then all the next adjustment will go up to about five thou on this one. But what you want to do first is I'll clean that off, and then we'll check it with a thread gauge and make sure it's the right thread. All right, so here's the gauge, and you just want to make sure that you're hitting where you're supposed to, and we are, so we're on the right track. So now it's time to start cutting some threads. All right, so there we have it. We have the threads cut. Now the, the nut to hold the collets in here threads on like it's supposed to so now all I gotta do is drill and bore and put our taper in here for the collets themselves and then cut the back of it off and drill it and tap it so the bar that'll go on to it will fit through the tool post holder so on to the next part all right I've got my center drill started here so now I'm ready to drill it all the way out to 7 eighths to an inch and a quarter depth. That way that's where I'll start and bring my taper out. I need to set my compound up for the angle that I need for the taper. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hole drilled out to the depth that I need. And then we'll set the compound up, put the boring bar in, and we'll start boring it out. <laughs> 